Spring ball is officially underway, and I'm here with the guy who is leading this Flames football program, head coach Jamie Chadwell. Coach, thanks for your time. Before we talk about you as a coach, I think it's very important to discuss you as a fan because I saw you at some of those men's basketball games and with some of the other coaches. You guys were really getting into it. I need to know, was that you who started the wave? A couple games ago. <laughs> I can't take credit for the wave, but I can take credit for the new tradition of throwing the t-shirts across, across the court. So we did start that with the students. I hope that continues, but the wave was pretty awesome too. It's really cool to see you out there in that environment. Okay, let's focus on your sport. During the season um, in the fall, you, you're bringing the tradition of having that, that word or character trait where you guys play for a championship each week. Is there a theme for spring ball? Um, you know, really spring is more about establishing what our identity is. And so our, our word this year is embrace. And so uh, if there's a theme in spring, it would be the word embrace. And that's embracing the change, embracing the adversity, embracing the new opportunity. Obviously, majority of the people here are new for these players, right? Uh, and so everything for them, they're learning for the first time. And so just embracing the difference, embracing the change. And if you if we all come together and do embrace it, then we can have some special things happen or we can fight it <laughs> and it'll still happen. It'll just take a little bit longer, right? And so that that's our that's what we're trying to focus on with this group. Uh, one of the reasons we're having spring a little bit later is so we can uh, have more time to sort of implement that mindset. And so we're, we're, uh, we're excited about what we have out here on the field and see what it shapes up to be. Yeah, and with all that change, there's already so much to cover in spring ball, you said. Uh, previously that this is the first time these players are going to actually see what your vision is. So what is the focus for those first four or five practices? What do you want to focus on the most? Well, I think mainly is how we practice. And what I mean by that, when we come out there, what's the mindset, the focus, and then the effort that you play with. You can overcome a lot of things if you play with great effort and you have a positive mindset. So it's really establishing that positive belief hey, good things will happen, expect good things to happen, and then just relentless effort in everything we do. And if we can come out of spring with those two things, rock solid, then we'll have a chance to be pretty good. Now we'll figure out the rest of it, right? Um, but being a champion starts in your mindset. And if we can get the mindset trained to where we believe we're champions and we do what champions do every day consistently, then we'll hopefully be able to hoist a trophy to show it at some point. So Flames Nation knows all about the capable quarterbacks on this roster. Sometimes we saw all of them in one game last season. Would you say that you want to come out of spring ball with a starting quarterback? That'd be ideal, 100%, I think, because, you know, if you can establish who that guy is, if they can establish that, then, then our team knows, hey, that's the guy we're, that should be your leader, should be rallying around. Uh, I hope that happens, you know, and, and we, as you mentioned, there's there's capable guys there, but we played a lot last year. So that tells you there's probably some inconsistencies. And so our job is to hopefully we can try to take away some of those inconsistencies and become more consistent and then so hopefully establish a leader. Uh, we've uh, the last, you know, three, four weeks have been good for those quarterbacks to sort of learn what we're doing. Hopefully they'll transition as we're here into practice and somebody will take the reins. If not, we'll go through summer and in the fall and hopefully be able to name one. Somebody will, will uh, take it eventually, hopefully sooner than later. At the beginning of spring ball, which position group are you most excited about? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I, I think right now, I, I would say honestly, all of them because I've never seen them, <laughs> right? And I know that's an easy answer, but when you've not seen any of the positions, you've only heard about it, I want to really see what they're about. Right. You know, I think more than anything, the running back, if you said, hey, put one on, I think would say the running back position because our, you know, day day coming back's injured, so he's hurt. And so you've got a lot of brand new people there that we brought in. So really trying to see how they mesh, I think to see that they develop and give you some depth uh, when he comes back. So, um, but I'm anxious to see how everybody plays. You know, oh, this guy's a good player. What is he really? Let's see. Let's this see. guy's not that good and he might be tremendous. And so uh, next year I'll have a very specific answer. Oh yeah, can't wait. Spring ball, we'll have all the updates. We'll be out there throughout spring ball for all the reports. I don't know, I know it's not just me, but there's an extra buzz going around about spring and, and this football season. We, we're really excited to have you here leading the program. I'm glad to be here, thank you. Thanks for your time, Coach. Thank you.